Hello everyone, this is Zelikos from Ashton TV. I'm here to bring you a discussion video about alters. An alter in circle casting is very important. However, alters are not only just used in circle casting, they're used in tons of various spell work. There are many different foundations you can set up for an alter. There is not really a main setup for an alter because alters are supposed to be personally yours. However, there are some spells that require different alter setups. Now, I'm going to show you a basic layout, which I got from this book right here, called Witchcrafting. Very good book. It was written by uh, Phyllis Kuro. It's a decent book. I like it. Uh, this, this altar I'm about to show you. Altar layout. It's uh, very decent. Not that bad. I don't know how well you can see it. As you can see, I have a representation for the god and goddess. The two outer circles represent candles for illumination. This big circle here represents a cauldron or liberation bowl, which you would put holy water or water in, or a sacrifice, or some sort of food or sacrificial food and wine that you put for the god or goddess. An altar pentacle. Incense, candle, chalice, salt. And these lines right here represent sword, wand, anathema, and bowling. It's a very basic setup, however, it's a little bit fancy, to say the least. Uh, there are some witches who use very miniature versions of altars that have none of that fancy stuff put into it, which I'm going to demonstrate to you right now. This mini altar I set up is quickly made, not really professional or anything such, but it will do basic spell work. Right here, I don't know how well you can see it, hold on, I'm trying to adjust. Right there, you can see the two candles, Athene, and uh, goddess picture of Eos, the goddess of the dawn, which is one of my goddesses. Altars are very, very, very special. They represent your personal identification. Some Wiccans have altars set up all the time. Some Wiccans have altars of which they put away and then remake. I'm one of those Wiccans. Not because my parents don't accept it or anything like that, because I do have historical values in my family and magic, but it's mostly because of the fact that my room is way too crowded because I have grades and papers from the Ashton Academy from off the internet and my files I need to teach for the future and on the internet and my piano and really everything else. Well, altars are very important. They're part of who you are, part of your circle. So the altar structure I showed you is very simple. Always remember you can change it during the Sabbaths and Espets to make it more fancier like for the Yule Add some little snowflake decorations or wreath or tinsel. You can do whatever you want. Your altar is your own personal space. I know this is a very small discussion, but I figured since altars are a part of circle casting, I get it out of the way. I hope this lesson has been somewhat beneficial for you. I always enjoy the time we have. For now, this has been Zelikos from Ashen TV. Blessed be.